Hey, this is JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Previously, I did a video called Five Things People Get Wrong About the Moron of Garbag, Stainless and Carbon. It has done pretty well with lots of comments, and one of the five things I discussed was the toughness of the two steels, basically which was tougher. This has been very controversial apparently, and many people have opposing views and even have been aggressive towards me and their thoughts on the subject. So I thought it would be good to focus on this specific point and clarify any misunderstanding on this subject. Now first, it's important to note that this discussion is focused on the Moronov Garberg and specifically the steels. So this is the stainless steel version. It uses 14C28N and the carbon version uses UHB20C, which is basically very similar to 1095. It's actually, I think, slightly less tough, but for the purposes of this discussion, we will consider this an equivalent of 1095. So this discussion is not about other grades of stainless steel or carbon steel, so there's no point bringing in other steels into the discussion. In addition, when it comes to toughness, there are other important factors like heat treatment, which are critical. But again, for the sake of this discussion, let us assume the standard of heat treatment applied to both are very similar. The HRCs are the same. So for this discussion, we're really talking about which steel is tougher, specifically the 14C28N or the 1095 equivalent. Now, conventional wisdom tells us that carbon steel is tougher than stainless steel. And that may be generally true as well. In fact, I initially thought that the carbon steel was tougher than the 14C28N until someone pointed it out to me and I did the research. So spoiler alert, the 14C28N is actually tougher than this 1095 equivalent. There are multiple resources and references that make the case for 14C28N being tougher than 1095. Now, I will admit many sources use Dr. Laren Thomas's, who is a knife steel nerd's, research as a reference, and I'll put a link in the description as well. I personally have not done any of the lab tests he has done, nor do I have the expertise to do so. So, as there has been no data back counter arguments to his research by anyone, or at least that are found, I'm partial towards his research and conclusions. So Dr. Thomas's lab tests conclude that 14C28N is tougher than 1095. So let me show you this image over here. It's actually two charts by Dr. Laren Thomas, but they've been overlaid on top of each other. And these charts were combined by Reddit user Freakinfer. Now have a look at the two circled portions. At the top, rated 9 for toughness is 14C28N and rated about four and a half is 1095. So toughness is rated from a scale of one to 10 on the vertical axis. So based on Dr. Thomas's test, 14C28N is twice as strong as 1095 steel. Moronize themselves stated in their official product description that 14C28 stainless is tougher than their carbon steel knife. I had one commenter on my previous video who basically said that Mora is wrong and spreading disinformation. However, when requested, he provided no data why they were wrong and just insisted that 1095 is harder than 14C28N because he believes so. I believe in Santa Claus too, so he must be real. Based on the comprehensive analysis of the credible resources, including expert ratings, reviews, and manufacturer information, there's a stronger documented case that the 14C28N blade is generally tougher than the 1095 steel. So there is a scientific rationale for this difference, and it lies in the 14C28N's balanced chemical composition, particularly the inclusion of nitrogen, which enhances hardness without the same embrittling effect as the high carbon steel found in 1095. Additionally, 14C28N has a finer grain structure, so this contributes to its increased resistance to fracture. Now overall, 14C28N is also just a more all-rounded steel. For example, it's also harder than the carbon steel, meaning its edge retention is better than the carbon steel. But the carbon steel is easier to sharpen. But all-rounded, this is tougher and this is harder, and that beats the carbon steel. Now this is not to say that 1095 steel is no good. It is still a very practical and I think very popular steel with knife makers, mainly due to the cost, and it is decent. However, again, 
in this direct comparison between the Mora 14C28N and their carbon steel, this wins hands down when it comes to toughness. Now, let me just end by saying this. Now, the lab test can conclude that the 14C28N is tougher than the carbon steel. However, in practical use, for normal use, you're probably unlikely to find a difference if you're using the knife the right way. And I'm going to just speak from experience here. We brought these knives out to the jungle extensively and used them. And if you use them as they're intended to be used, and in our case for jungle, bushcraft which is basically processing wood you might be battening a bit of wood you'd be cutting wood you will be uh, making notches you would be slicing feather sticking you know if you do all these kinds of things you probably honestly can't feel the difference or at least i can't feel the difference if you can feel the difference please let me know now if you're going to do extreme testing then probably maybe you might find a difference in the toughness but for practical usage i doubt an average user would find a difference in the toughness between these two blades. So now you might be thinking then, well, it seems that the 14C to an 8N seems like an all-round superior steel, and I personally believe it's so. Why would people use the carbon steel? I'm not sure personally, because besides just being tougher and harder, it's corrosion resistant. This one, as you can see, the carbon steel, even though there's a coating, uh, we did apply a mirror finish polish here, uh, to that Scandi blade, there's a bit of rust forming, right? Even though we dry and clean the knife, you can see there are rust marks. So I think really the only reason why someone might want the carbon is maybe they want to strike some flint, so they want that carbon steel. Because honestly, both can strike a ferro rod, which is different from a flint, because that's nothing got to do with the material, but really the sharpness of the spine. And the stainless steel garbage has that 90 degree spine. So specifically, if you want to strike flint, then maybe you want that. Other than that, personally, I really don't know why someone would choose the carbon over the stainless steel personally. But you can let me know if you have a very specific reason. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Now, if you disagree that the 14 c 28 and is tougher than the carbon steel, uh, please do let me know in the comments. In fact, provide that data because I'm sure a lot of people will be interested to read about it or hear about it as well. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and this discussion. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.